Hi viewer, I welcome you to Room TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through Geography Form 4, lesson number 9. The topic it is fishing. I'm Lucy Mubong. Welcome. Let us look at the lesson goals. The lesson goals for today we are going to look at the types of the fish and the methods of fishing. We start by looking at the types of the fish. There are a number of types of the fish, but there are two ways in which you can classify the fish. Fish can be classified in two ways. Either using their habitat, the place where they live, or using their community. Do they live in community? So those are the two ways in which we can classify the fish. Let us see uh, when we classify them according to their habitat, how many classes can we get? One of the classes in which we can get when we classify them according to their habitat, it is the freshwater fish. Now, when we talk about the freshwater fish, these are the fish that live in fresh inland waters. There is the lakes, rivers, ponds, and dams. All those are uh, fish. We can classify them as fresh water fish. These fish found in inland waters, maybe the tilapia. We also have the nile patch. We also have the dagger and the trout. So those are the main fresh water fish that we can have. Also, we have the marine or salty fish. The marine or salty fish, they are the fish that live in serene lakes, seas, and also oceans. The salty lakes. So that is according to the habitat. But we can also classify the fish according to the community. And according to the community, we get three of them. Three classes. There is the pelagic, there is an andromus, there is the demos fish. Now, when I talk about the pelagic fish, this fish will live near the water surface. And when you look at their body, it is small in size. And even when we talk about the way they live, they live in large groups. So they live in large groups, they live near the water surface, and they are small in size. And examples of these pelagic fish, we have the herrings, we also have the tuna, we also have the sandings, the market, and the bristling. All those are the pelagic fish. Then the second class, it is the anandros, an anandromas. When I talk about the anandromas, it is the migratory in nature. It keep on migrating from one place to another. And the examples of this one, we refer to them as the salmon and the pelcher. They don't have specific place where you can go and get them. They keep on changing. They keep on moving. Then we have the Damaso fish. These fish will live closer to the bottom of the water bodies. And they are large in size. And they feed on other small fish or sea animals. And examples of this one, we have the cod. We also have the cat, catfish. We have the catfish. We also have the ad dog. We also have the dogfish. We also have the skirt and egg. How those are the examples of the mouse fish. 
Now, let us look at the different methods of the fishing. We have them there. We have the line fishing. We have the arm pool. We also have the, the basket fishing. We also have all those are the traditional methods that were used initially. So you can be able to see all of them, they are there. We can also have the modern type of fishing where we have the basket being trod. Oh, we also have the line fishing, uh, which is we are getting a number of fish at the same time. Those are the modern type of the fishing methods that we have. That marks the end of our lesson. Uh, the assignment, it is state three types of fish according to their habitats and state four traditional methods of fishing. Uh, for more information, you can visit the KRB 2003 Secondary Geography Student Book for that edition. For more information, you can get us through the SMSing. You can SMS to the number. You can also get us through the YouTube. You can also get us through the Facebook. You can also Twitter us through that. Otherwise, stay tuned to Edwin TV. Thank you.